What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get we're gonna get personal. So today I want to talk about a brand that I've discovered on my own and everything that I shared today I paid for with my own money. So this isn't sponsored. I have addressed a few times how stressful 2019 was like 2020 isn't like pfft, like clearly there's crazy stuff happening but stress got me stress got me really bad um i was under so much stress probably some of the most stress like stressful situations i've ever had in my whole life um and my hair wasn't like falling out at the root but my hair started to break off and um my hair was about this long previously and it's finally grown out to about, I would say about here, it's about this, this long. That's actually one of the reasons I haven't done many YouTube videos. I haven't shot any selfies since December because it's literally taken until now for me to have like confidence to be able to do it because I feel like having your hair is like your identity. And when I lost my identity, um, you know, due to stress, it was really hard. So that cue steps in this brand called Insert Name Here, INH Hair. I found them because there's two of the owners. Um, they're actually in their 20s, I think. Um, I'm Bunny. Um, she, I've been following for a while, and she used to do marketing, I believe, for ColourPop. And then um, Jordan is her best friend. They both own the company. Her best friend and she also used to do um, I think she still does some marketing for Colourpop so I've been following them for a while and then they branched off and did this um, like company on their own so the first pony that I'm wearing is called Bella um, so these are synthetic they're Japanese fibers is what they're called I actually have the website pulled up right here so I'm wearing Bella, it says hi I'm Bella, it's $45 retail. I'm gonna open it and read about Bella. So um, it's made of Japanese synthetic fiber, it's available in eight shades. Um, it is like, um, it has like a little clip on the edge and then you pin it in and then it wraps around the hair. It says Bella is pre-styled so we don't recommend heat styling or you won't be able to get the style back. Um, you can do a, a high pony or a low pony. Um, so they have a really awesome Instagram page and on their Instagram page they show how to's. I'm not going to but I'm going to explain to you how I put these in. Um, even if I had my normal hair I would probably be wearing these. So since my hair is short the reason I didn't want to show you guys is it's still growing out from that whole like fiasco and it, it just doesn't look right. I will not wear my normal hair in public right now because it's not even like a regular cut. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of embarrassing, honestly. So the way I do it, you can probably see here, I have a high pony pulled up and then I have a low pony pulled back. The reason I have to do that is because my hair in the back is so short, it won't pull fully up into a ponytail. So I pull up into a high pony up here and I fold it into like a baby bun. And then the back one, I do the same thing, except then I pin the bun Comple completely flat to my head using bobby pins. Um, and then I actually will pull my hair up into the ponies straight out of the shower and it gives you that like sort of sleek wet look. For the top pony, I use the Goody Ouchless. They're kind of like, can you see they have like these like bubble sort of things? It holds the hair in between in my opinion. I got these at Target. And then for my bottom like baby bun, I use these blonde elastics and I also got these from Scrunchie, but they're at Target. Um, and then a lot of like bobby pins. So to give me like the sleek look, after it's wet, I'll pull it up into the ponies. I use this Silk Elements. And I got this at Sally's, but they also have it on Amazon. It's called Strength Silk Edge Gel and it's made with um, coconut oil. So it doesn't cause any like flaking. It doesn't feel like, I don't like gel in my hair. I don't want it to feel like hard. Um, it's more of an edge cream, so it means it's like softer. So while it's wet, I will apply that. I will put my hair into ponies and then I'll finish with some hairspray just to keep the pony froze. And then I will put in 
the pony. So Bella is one of my favorites. Probably I wear it most often because it's short length so it kind of hits your shoulders. Sort of makes me feel like my hair is normal again. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with Bella and here's why. I have um, some pictures that I want to show you guys. So when Bella first came in, this is the color... I'm wearing Bella in the color, let's see, Champagne Blonde. It is a little bit darker than my platinum hair, but you can't tell because when my hair is wet, it looks darker. Um, so Bella came in, um, she was a little nappy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this, this, the fibers in Bella are different, in my opinion, than the other ponies. I have several that I'm gonna show you guys today. Um, it came in, um, the hair was a little bit bent is the only way um, that I can describe it. So I tried a few things. I tried to wash it and straighten it out. Sometimes that will work with synthetic hair um, and it didn't work. I did try to use extremely low settings on a flat iron. That also did not work. The only thing that I got to work was I used a round brush with a um, blow dryer and I pulled it straight. So here's the before and after, okay? After I was done, it looked like a brand new pony and I was really happy with it. Now, I don't know if I should tell everybody to do that because I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I also know how to style um, synthetic hair, but if you're not careful using like an iron on a very low setting and even like a hot blow dryer, you can melt the hair. So whatever you decide to do, I love Bella. I just had to completely reform the hair um, and I, I wear it every day, but you have to be very gentle and very patient and very careful or you can totally kill the fibers. So this is Bella. So I'm gonna turn around and show you guys the back of Bella. I just think it's really fun. I also like, I drive my Jeep around town a lot. And um, if I have like the windows down, my hair blows all over it. And Bella is the perfect length. She doesn't get super um, like tangled or anything like that when I'm driving. But the, um, the fibers on these are really good. I just wish she wouldn't have come in so funky. Um, but like I said, it's a love hate relationship because after I fixed it, it was completely fine. So let me show you guys how I store my insert name here, ponies. So here are, um, this one is Brit. I have Brit and I have them stored on this basically like a velvet type of hanger. And you don't wanna keep these though long term like in the shower or like in your bathroom because um, the humidity will make them fray. So just be very aware of that as well. Um, this is Shayla, I have Shayla. These are all in platinum blonde. I'm gonna try these on and show you guys what they look like in. The Ariana Pony, I believe it's 37 inches of hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how I style that. And the last one that I have is my favorite, which is, Pony is called Casey. So I'll talk about each one. It has um, hand-tied tensile. This is the blonde one, this is platinum blonde. So I'll try these on. So first I wanted to show you guys how they come packaged. So when they come in the mail, they look like this. Um, it's not like the most like 100% great packaging, but it says loading, pretty things inside, and it's recyclable um, material. So I guess we can all appreciate that. Hashtag save the planet. So this is what it comes in, and it comes with like a cute like memo card that says no bad hair days, INH. Has like the INH team like logo and all the chat on the back and then every pony comes with a silk bag which is probably for like travel purposes it says INH and I do keep these I don't really use them I assume if I'm filming on the road it would be a really good way to store them so it doesn't get kind of like frayed and ruined and then the way um, the ponies come are always in their own plastic bag so this was actually my Bella pony um, case. So anyway, that's how they are. Let's. I want to show you guys the rest of the ponies though. So this is, this one's Bella. So this pony is Shayla. It's probably my second favorite one. Normally I will kind of tame it down a little bit. I'll put some, um, maybe like a mixture of like leave-in conditioner and water 
with a little bit of curl cream. It is still the Japanese synthetic fibers. But, um, and I probably wouldn't wear this as high up. Bella, I do wear higher up because I like it to hit on my shoulders. So, so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. So you attach this clip right in the front and then you wrap it around the pony like that. You take this piece that's out and you wrap it all the way around and you secure it and hide your like pony. And it also like holds it in there. Um, and then you clip it in with several bobby pins. I'm not gonna show you guys on film how I do it. And the main reason is because I actually have to flip my head completely over. But the cool part about these are, it takes literally like 10 seconds to do your hair for the day. So this is a little bit more poofy than I like, but I'm not really wearing Shayla today anyway. You can also wear the Shayla's like in a super low sort of like seductive pony too. Um, I did try that though with my super short hair and it did not work. <laughs> it was like, I was scared I was gonna go in public and it was gonna fall out. So um, yeah, this is Shayla, but I love all of them so far. Shayla was actually the first one I got and I am gonna show you guys like a mini tutorial how to wash these. I would say every seven to nine um, wears, I have to wash them. But I also live in Vegas where it's dusty um, and when like, you know, the wind picks up, it's definitely, I'm gonna need to like wash it. So I'm gonna flip around and show you guys the back of Shayla. So the first step um, to prepping an area for your extensions is, I do mine in the kitchen sink. My kitchen sink's pretty clean, but I always um, give it a really good scrub because you don't want to get, like, I mean, if there is food leftovers or anything in the sink. So step number one, clean the sink really well and then rinse it really well. So I'm just finishing rinsing out remnants of um, any cleaner. Sometimes if you have any leftover cleaners, it can totally like ruin the threads. Um, the sink's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to be using oops, a stopper like this. I'm gonna also rinse it off, it's clean, but I'm gonna rinse it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the bottom of the sink. Now I'm gonna let this sink sort of warm up. Um, it's like lukewarm to like very low heat. Um, if you get too hot of heat, it's lukewarm to really low heat. Um, if you get it too hot, you will ruin the fibers. So be very careful about the heat that you're using. It should just be like lukewarm. Now I'm gonna let the sink fill up probably about four inches of water or so, so about to here. And once it's about halfway there, which we're getting there, look at that burn. I, I was cooking and I burned my own. So once this fills up to about two inches of water or so, I'm using this biotin shampoo, which is from Amazon. I'm only going to take like maybe a pea size to like a quarter of an ounce, not very much. I'm going to run it under the water so that it, it emulsifies, which means it breaks the product down. Now it's going to create some bubbles. And now I'm just going to kind of swish it around. You're sort of creating like a gentle shampoo bath. You don't want to just put like direct shampoo on the extension. Now I'm gonna let this fill up another couple of inches. So it's probably four to six inches total, somewhere in there. So this will be the shampoo bath. Um, it came in, it's brand new, it just got here, but it has a bend in the hair. You can use really low heat on these, but I found out with um, synthetic hair, sometimes if you gently wash and condition first, 
that they actually end up looking a lot better afterwards. So I'm just gonna dip this in gently and I'm gonna kind of give it a couple of swizzles here. So this is how I would wash even like Shayla, all my other ones. I'm just giving it kind of a clean dip. Sometimes too, these can be really shiny. Like this one I did notice Bella is probably the shiniest one, so it's the more like synthetic one. Sometimes if you give it a rinse, if there's any like preservatives or anything they put on it in the lab, um, you'll rinse it out and it won't be as shiny. It'll look a little bit more natural. So that's Bella. I'm gonna go ahead and wring this out. It's already looking better. I'm gonna dip again. Now on the other side of the sink, I'm going to run lukewarm water and rinse out the shampoo. Bella is ready for part two, but first I'm going to bring in my Ariana pony. So my Ariana pony just came in today. I got it on because I think it's a limited edition. And I did notice with that one as well, I'm going to use the same water. I'm just going to add a little bit more because Ariana's bigger. Um, with the Ariana pony, so I'm doing the same thing, adding some shampoo, emulsify it under the water, let it get kind of bubbly. Once again, Ariana is a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to add another little one now. So Ariana came in and she's also got a little bit of a bendy bendy in her. So I got platinum Ariana, so there's the bend. You guys see that? So I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to do the same thing. This is the first time washing her. I'm going to dip her in here very gently. So you don't want to use any sulfate shampoos. Um, sulfate shampoos are basically what make it super sudsy and sudsy and bubbly and it's known for being um, stripping and drying especially like I've been a cosmetologist for oh my goodness I shouldn't say how long because it's gonna age me but I've been licensed since I was 18 so that's over 10 years and uh, you don't want to use sulfates they're actually bad for your like regular hair too so you don't want to use sulfates it can really really strip Especially synthetic hair, it will just ruin it, can fray it, fry it. So I'm gonna kinda just let her swim around in here. And I can already tell it's working because the bend is gone here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wring her out and then I'm gonna rinse her on the other side. Lukewarm water once again. You don't want to use hot water. And then this one's a longer, bigger pony. I'm going to rinse her a couple times with warm water, bring her out, and now she's ready for the conditioning bath. So I'm going to let the shampoo water out. Now I'm going to rinse the sides just to make sure any shampoo water is completely gone down the drain. Now I'm going to add the stopper and make it back to some like lukewarm water here. So in my opinion, like shampoo part, yes, is, is important, but I really think that if you use a really, I really think if you use a good conditioning mask, it really like makes the pony, it'll help it with the synthetic fibers. It'll weigh it down a little bit. It won't be as like frayed and 
Um, sometimes synthetic can be known for getting flyaways or frizzy. The one I'm using is from Sally's actually. Um, it's just a generic deep conditioning mask. Um, actually, I uh, started using this during quarantine um, because all of the beauty salon, I, I shop at like Cosmoprof um, and Centrix and they, they weren't open. So I'm just going to take a glob and I'm going to emulsify it again right in the water. I would say somewhere between a dime to a quarter amount. I might use more against the other one. Now I'm going to swish it around. So the biggest thing I'm looking for is lukewarm water. And you want to feel if the water feels soft. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Yeah, I found this conditioner because none of the professional places were open during quarantine and Sally's is the only one shipping. And I really love this stuff. It's really good at um, extreme softness. It, um, I leave it on for like my, my regular hair mask too. Sometimes I'll put it on for 10 to 30 minutes with a hot towel and it opens up your hair cuticle and just pushes it into your hair and makes it feel like silk. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that water consistency. I'm going to get Bella again. So here's Bella. I'm going to make sure that's really mixed up in there. There's still some chunks, but it's okay. So I'm going to dip Bella in. So look, you can see those bins from Bella are gone. So I'm going to just kind of run her through here. There are some chunks of conditioner, but that's okay. They'll rinse out. And you can already tell just by picking up Bella, she's so much softer already. And I think it's really gonna help um, with that shininess. Most of the INH stuff I haven't had a problem with. This has been the shiniest one I've had so far. But um, other than that, honestly, like their stuff's really good. If you take care of your hair extensions like this and like follow the tips that I'm showing you guys, they, they'll literally last forever. I've had Shayla Oh my god that was the first one i bought and uh, she can get really tangled but honestly if you do this process she will um you just have to comb her out brush her big big combs you don't want anything small um small stuff will fray it so this is bella she's feeling pretty good so you have two choices you can either stop here if you're feeling like you want to leave a little bit of that conditioner in to keep it soft i'm going to go ahead and just do a light rinse I'm gonna do a rinse on the other side. Check the water before you throw it under there. You don't wanna melt the hair or ruin the fibers. I just gave it one rinse and I'm really happy with how she's come out so far. And these dry pretty quickly too. And I'll show you guys the next step. So anyway, I'm gonna put this aside. I rang her out as well. So here's Ariana. Oh good. It looks like we're, we're uh, getting somewhere with Ariana. She's uh, she's much more complicated, I think. It's a big, big um, pony. A very big pony. I think it's like 35 inches or something like that. So um, because there's still a little bit of a bend here, it's not bad, but I'm a hairstylist, so it's going to bother me. I'm going to open up my mask. You don't want to take a lot. I'm literally just taking about that much. I'm gonna emulsify it. Emulsify means breaking up the product. And I'm just gonna kind of groom it on this side a little bit. See, that already straightened it out. Sometimes heavy product will just push the fibers down. And I'm even gonna do a little bit right here. Yeah. Right in here, it looks, see, there's some bends right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. I love INH though, I've been really happy with um, all of their stuff. There we go. See, just pull it right straight, there it is. No more bends. I'm gonna dip it again. I can already tell this has helped the Ariana pony too. So now with Ariana, I think I'm actually not going to rinse her out. I'm gonna leave some of this mask in because it is so long. 
I want a little bit of that mask treatment to stay in the fibers so that it keeps it a little bit heavy because I can already tell it may get tangled easy. And just like that, I'm going to pull them both out and then I'll show you guys how I let them dry. I'm just gonna put this out of the sink and that's it. Odie says hi to everybody. Ariana is about halfway dry. Um, she's definitely lighter weight than Bella. Bella is still drying currently, so I will uh, give you guys another update later. Probably been about 30 minutes or so. So this is Brit. I do personally think that Brit tangles the worst out of all of them, but um, it is manageable. I just make sure that I always carry like a little brush with me in my purse. But this is Brit. Um, quality on Brit probably because the fibers do get tangled is probably the most frustrating of all. Um, but I definitely am happy that I have it. It just gives me a different look. This is still a little bit of a high pony that I would probably make it go back a little bit further. But um, once again, because I'm probably going to be popping on um, Bella after this, it's just going to have to be what it is for now. So yeah, this is Brit. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see Brit. So Ariana is ridiculously long. Um, once again, this is probably way too high for where I would place it. I would probably place it further back. So Ariana is $65. I do think that she is um, a limited edition. This, all of my colors other than Bella are in platinum. And I believe she was inspired from um, Ariana Grande. Yep, 35 inches booty skimming. If I stand up, you guys can see how far down that it hits. It hits my hip. With Ariana, I actually like to do the style of like kind of the bubbled out. So let me do that for you guys one second. So Ariana does get tangled easily. So I'm going to show you the style I do when I wear this one. So you guys can kind of see in the mirror. Oops, I go this way. I did the bubbled um, sort of style. And I need to actually bubble this one out just a little bit more. And then I got these clips. Um, I've just been picking up random clips in and out. So yeah, that's how I would style Ariana and then just have like the big bubble in the back. This would be more of like an updo style, I feel like. I bought it specifically because they said it was um, limited edition. And I was like, oh, I really wanted that one. It's so long, it's really pretty. There's a lot of people that have claimed that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, have claimed that Ariana is really heavy. I mean, considering I have pretty short hair, I don't find it heavy at all. Um, but I guess it just depends on the person. But you can even wear it without styling. Just wearing it by itself. So yeah, this one is in platinum. So now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite pony of all through um, INH. Okay, so this, this one is Casey. So once again, this is probably a little high. In fact, let me, I'm gonna take it down just a little bit, one sec. I like have a ninja bun. Looks like a ninja. Or it's more on my crown versus like right on top of my head. My baby bun. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you guys how I do this on camera. I don't know, I think it's just the hairstylist in me wants to flip my head over. Um, I'm sure that's my problem. So you take this little clippy, I'm gonna slide it in right here. I'm going to wrap this around. See, when you're upside down, you just don't get this tangled, so that's probably why I do it. I'm gonna take a head, a little clippy, a little bobby pin. I think I'm gonna take one more, because it just doesn't feel secure. And then you can flip this over. Now you guys saw like the, my little bun is just like completely hidden 
under Casey. So yeah, Casey's probably my favorite. Like, I love Bella because I get the most wear out of Bella. Casey's a little bit, like, bedazzled, like, yeah, extra. I have not washed Casey yet. Um, there's something about Casey that how she sits on your head is, like, perfect. I can't even describe it. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite pony, but I wear Bella the most. Like, I, hands down, I wear Bella constantly. So yeah, that's INH hair. Casey is, let's talk about Casey for a second. Actually, let's talk about all the ponies for a second. So I have all of them in blonde. Everything is vegan and cruelty free. Um, Shayla, which is the curly one, she's $49. They call her the ride or die. Brit is felt cute might delete later is $49. And Casey is 63, so the one I'm wearing right now is 63 your golden hour. Um, Ariana is 65 and then Bella is 45. I also did purchase a full set of human hair extensions from them. Um, love the extensions. Like they're, they're some of my favorite extensions that I've ever owned before. I think their extensions are a little bit more expensive though. Let's see their human hair extensions. Let's see. I got the, I got the 20 inch human hair and it was 160 grams of hair. No, no. I got the 22 inches, which is 220 grams of hair in platinum for $298. Their extensions are bomb. Um, here's a picture of me wearing their extensions. And I guess there's a few other things that I have not purchased yet from them that I'd like. They make a bun called Sammy. It basically makes your bun look awesome, um, which I don't have a bun right now. Um, I would love to get some of their bangs. They have bangs that are really cute um, for when you want to like switch it up. And then their number one seller is actually, I think it's Maya. Yeah, Maya, and she's the 30-second dream pony. I just haven't bought Maya yet. I don't know why. Um, I really wanted Shayla and the ones I got, so yeah, there's a couple more. There's also one called Molly the Cheer Pony, and she's a little bit more wavy that I'd like to try. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought this was going to be a positive video for anybody out there that might need like a pick me up they also have quad pay by the way so if you don't want to just pay the full sixty dollars you can pay it in four payments of like ten or twelve dollars or something like that um i i had such a hard december and when your appearance like your outer appearance gets affected by the way you you know feel inside like the stress that I went under it's it does a lot to your body and especially like as a girl and me especially being like very girly and like into hair and makeup and I felt like really lost and confused and, and I didn't know what to do um, when I went through all of that and then um, you know losing my hair it was short like it's right here right now but honestly for it to completely grow out it's probably gonna take like another year um, that's just me being realistic because I'm a cosmetologist so if anybody out there is going through anything that I did, um, I've been on a super self-care, self-empowerment, taking my power back, you know, since December, and my whole life has changed. Like, I'm not the same person that I used to be. Um, I've really been making sure that I've prioritized myself first. So I just wanted to make this video to help anybody watching that might need some self-love. Go buy yourself a pony. Get this magical pony. Are you telling me that if you put this on with tinsel in your hair, you wouldn't feel like you were like Barbie or a million dollars? I'm just saying. They have a lot of different colors. Also, they do color match. So if you feel like you're not sure what kind of color you are, you can message them on Instagram or I think Facebook and they will help you color match your hair. Mine was easy because I'm always platinum or whatever the lightest blonde is. So have you guys tried INH hair? I think they're so cute. I love the marketing. INH, insert name here which is Brit Pony, Shayla Pony, Bella, insert the name of the pony. So their marketing is so cute. I'm really impressed with them. Um, Sharon is AKA I'm Bunny and um, Jordan, that's one of her, or her best friend. Like I love following them. They're so fun to follow on social media. Um, I'll put their links in this. Hopefully you guys will see them. Maybe you'll give them a follow on social media. If you guys buy one of the INH ponies and you liked my video, please let me know below. I'd love to hear how you 
how you like Iron Age. Give my video a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, what else do you guys want to see? Let me know what content you guys want to see. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. I feel like it really goes with the Yoda too, don't you think? I feel like baby Yoda is like...